This was an interfaith prayer service for peace, sponsored by the Office of Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Belonging. So a lot of times the community will gather, the university community will gather when there's some kind of event in the news, uh, whether that's, say, a shooting or a natural disaster or something like that, where we want to really bring people together to pray and and console one another, but also, you know, look for ways to hope and help. I checked uh, last week, there were 45 murders in 41 days in Philadelphia. I think uh, Layla Dunbar was seeing there's just been so many things that could bring us all together uh, that we um, wanted to gather around the, the idea of peace more generally. As we focus on peace and let people know that the embodiment of peace, the collective embodiment of peace, is what eventually eliminates violence in our world. We need to continuously have conversations about peace because peace is our birthright. The reality is if we really focus on peace, we can create, we can create peace in our world. We didn't want to have a service for violence where we focused on violence. We want to, we were thinking about what is the counter or what is the opposite of violence. As we're pursuing peace, as we're all kind of looking together to get to peace, uh, we have each other, like we're not alone. I feel like this was a great beginning to a conversation starter. I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful that I have the opportunity to be here. Grateful that I'm in this position. Grateful that I can hold a space for students, faculty, and staff. Because this is an interfaith service, it's just seeing the kind of deep wells that exist in these different faith traditions uh, that don't need to divide us, right? That we can come together and say, you know, we all want this peace. We all want this better life for one another.